log my blood oxygen reading as 98% at this time. Done. Wow. So Siri can actually do more than you think. This is a list of all the different voice commands and voice prompts that it can access. And this is all thanks to how data logging and access through the latest updates that Apple has provided. And these are features that are available on the Apple Watch and on the iPhone. This is a typical example of what I mean from my friend Aaron from Zolotech. How many calories have I burned? You can also log information, telling it your blood sugar and many other things. My blood sugar is 95. And now it logs it in the health app. Record my blood pressure as 120 over 80. If you are like me and you are having issues with your Siri accessing data and logging health data, then this is the video for you because on my iPhone here, if I activate and say, how many steps did I do to date? Sorry, I can't help with that. You can learn more about logging your health data with Siri at apple.com. You can see for me, this feature is something that's not currently working, but I will show you how to get it to work if that's something that you're experiencing and we'll discuss more about the supported devices that you can expect. This feature was first announced last year when Apple was talking about their new devices, the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2. and Apple had actually promised us that this feature was going to be coming out last year in 2023, but then they ended up releasing the feature in 2024. According to Apple, that was done because of Apple's commitment to privacy. They didn't want to rush this out and they wanted to make sure it works just right when it comes out. As of my recording right now, the only Apple Watch series that support this are the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2. So I have the Apple Watch Ultra 1 and unfortunately, this is not supported. If I go here and say, how many steps did I do today? You can see it doesn't show anything and it just opens the activity ring right here. The most important thing you need to know when it comes to this feature is how to basically enable it. On your iPhone, you want to open up settings and in settings, look for health. And under health, you want to access the data access and devices. And now if you click where it says Siri, you can see you have this data access health data prompt that you can enable or disable. Now, if it's disabled for you, you want to go ahead and turn it on and you can see what your permission. Siri can read and write certain health app data your health app data does not leave your device to complete your siri requests so once this is enabled ideally if you have an iphone that's updated to the latest ios version then you should be able to see this feature work for you on your device so you want to go ahead and make sure that you are updated to the latest ios version you should be on ios 17.2 or later and if you have an apple watch that's not yet updated you want to go into your settings and make sure that your watch is updated to the latest watchOS version that is supposed to be beyond watchOS 10.2 because that's when this feature came out and you can see I'm on watchOS 10.4. These Siri health access and health logging using Siri on the Apple Watch are only supported on the Series 9 and Series Ultra because those are the only two devices that have a powerful chip inside of them that allows them to process these commands on device because when you ask Siri on the Apple Watch how many steps you did or how many hours of sleep did you get, it's not leaving your device and going to like Apple servers to check this and authenticate and then come back to you. The Apple Watch is processing those requests locally and nothing is leaving your device. So that's the reason why my Apple Watch Ultra 1 is not supported. The Series 8 all the way to the Series 4, they are not supported and only two devices are supported on the Apple Watch. But on the iPhone, Apple doesn't specify which iPhones are supported as long as you've turned on this feature and you are on iOS 17.2 and later, well, then ideally this feature is supposed to work for you. But here on my device, you saw that I went into my settings and turned on this and I made sure I'm updated. But if we go to Siri, how many steps did I do today? Sorry, I can't help with that. You can learn more about logging your health data with Siri at apple.com. So you can see that, yes, it's still not working at this point in time, but 
there is a solution to this. On Apple's own support website about Siri access to your health app data, you, where you can turn it on and off here, you can see Apple tells you the same settings that you can enable, but then it tells you some of the availability for Siri health requests related to health data on your iPhone and on your Apple Watch. And right here, the most important thing they mentioned for the iPhone, you can see you need to be on iOS 17.2 and later. And then you can see the iPad models that are supported. You have these iPad Pro 12.9 third gen and later. And then you can see the other associated iPad models that this feature will work on. So if you have iPads, just make sure you have those ranges and they are updated to iPad OS 17.2 and later and then the Apple Watch you can see the only series that are supported but then this second bulletin point is the most important one that maybe is the reason why this feature is not working for you on your device the Siri language needs to be set to English United States or Mandarin Chinese and then in brackets China mainland so for this you need to go into your settings and then change your Siri language to either of these two English United States or Mandarin Chinese so I haven't yet changed it so that's why when I asked Siri how many steps did I do today sorry I can't help with that you can learn more about logging your health data with Siri at apple.com so you can see it's still not supported so now if I go into settings on my iPhone and then go to where it says Siri and search and now here you can see my current language that set says English and in brackets it's the Canadian English but from the website this is not supported so we need to set it to English United States so now if I go back here and say English and then I want to select English United States this English right here and now I've set that and now if I ask Siri how many steps I did or try to access different health data, then it should be able to tell me. So let's put it to the test. How many steps did I do today? You've taken 129 steps today. Wow, you can see that that is now working and it's showing. So let's try a different prompt. What's my current heart rate? As of this morning at 916, it was 80 BPM. Log my blood oxygen reading as 98 percent at this time done wow you can see the prompt is done right there if you have an apple watch series that supports this feature that is a series 9 and a, uh, apple watch ultra 2 and you are updated to the latest version and it wasn't working for you then you can do the same go to your siri settings and then change the language from English whatever country you are in and make sure it's set to English United States or the other language that is uh, Mandarin Chinese China mainland and now this feature should be able to work and you can now use this Siri health data access or use Siri to log different health data such as medication such as your the heart rate your steps stability and so on as of now you can only log and access about 20 plus different health data on your apple watch or iphone using siri but apple did promise us that they were going to increase this list as time goes on so as software updates become available this is something that's going to improve even though this feature isn't region specific it's only available in two languages that you can only set your siri to to allow this feature to work Apple did promise us that this is not going to remain like this. There's more language in the works. So as more updates come out, then this will become available maybe in your native language like French, Spanish, and so on. So if that's something that you want to see, definitely do subscribe so that you stay up to date. And I do cover iOS updates and watchOS as well as macOS and uh, a lot of Apple updates as well. So if that's something you want to see and keep up to date with, Definitely hit that like and subscribe so that you don't miss out. Peace.